Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Quest for Faith with Brian. Here on this channel, we break down the Catholic faith from a newcomer's perspective. And this past Pentecost Sunday marks one year since I was received into the Catholic Church. So I figured I'd do a video on how is my life any different between before I was Catholic and I was a Protestant versus how my life is today. So we're going to go through and break down a bunch of that. And there's some real tangible differences that I'm just so grateful for the Catholic Church for. Uh, that it's just led me to be a better man and, uh, and fighting for my salvation. So uh, we are going to dive into that. Before we do, though, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I cannot believe it's been a year. I, I uh, in a lot of ways, I do feel like I've been Catholic for for two, maybe three years at this point. Uh, really, just because it took so long for us to get confirmed, uh, we had to go through a uh, annulment process with my wife, and it uh, it, it took a while. So. Uh, I was ready to be Catholic long before uh, <laughs> uh, that process w was finished, and I was considering myself Catholic at that point. So, um, but this last Pentecost Sunday, we celebrated one year of entering into the church, and I just I feel absolutely blessed um, for finding the Catholic Church and just the way the Lord has worked in my life to put me in places I never thought that uh that i would be um for one doing a youtube video on this uh a youtube channel that i never thought i would do anything like this um but what are what are some ways that it, that really have changed um because it wasn't like i was an atheist and wasn't a believer before i decided to join the catholic church um i grew up in a strong uh a faith-based house that we went to church three times a week regularly. We went to a bunch of we were most of my friends growing up were from church. So it wasn't it wasn't something new as far as my faith was concerned that I believed in Jesus and and I'd been baptized and all that, but there's some definite tangible differences uh between the way I was before and now. And I think one of the primary differences is yearning to know more, yearning to study. Uh, I really didn't care that much about um, reading my Bible, studying it. Um, I did in college and I did a lot of study when I was younger, but as an adult, I just kind of was like, eh, whatever. Um, I'd read I'd read every now and then, but it wasn't something that I was constantly um, wanting to just submerse myself in in my faith. And I I gotta tell you, like since I, I started this journey in joining the Catholic Church, uh, it, it's made it to where, most of the time when I'm listening to an audiobook or I'm uh, watching YouTube a lot of times, uh, it, it's trying to further my knowledge and understanding of my faith. Uh, looking at counter arguments, looking at uh, the Catholic perspective, and just really involving myself on a pretty much daily basis I'm listening or reading something that has to do with faith. And that's just such a change for me was because before that, I was just worried about my doing my my daily thing, right? It wasn't uh, anything on my radar. Um, and I mean, last year I finished the I did the Bible in a Year podcast with Father Mike Schmitz. Uh, that was amazing. Um, I'm I'm signing up for a class at my parish that is. Uh, kind of like a hardcore catechesis for people that have already, you know, uh, that are already Catholic. Um, and so it's just this yearning to know more and to learn more and to have more understanding. Uh, just wasn't there before. One of the other things just that's really changed is I'm so much more grateful for Christ. 
I'm so much more grateful for the sacrifice that he made for us on the cross. Um, not that I didn't have an understanding, but the, but man, every Sunday or every time I go to mass and I'm sitting there preparing myself to take the Eucharist and taking that seriously, that it is the body and blood of Christ. It just washes over me. The, uh, just the gratefulness that I have for that because I'm not worthy. None of us are worthy of the sacrifice of the cross. And the fact that through Christ's sacrifice, we're saved, that we get, we get a chance to get to heaven, that the door was open for us. Uh, it's just a firm reminder every single time I go to mass, no matter where I'm going, um, when I get to part participate in the sacrifice of the mass, it's just, it blows my mind. And I'm just so eternally grateful for that. Um, more so than I was before. And I, I think what goes along with that is just my concern overall for my soul and the way I act in my sins. Um, I had a very pro typical evangelical protestant view of the once saved always saved faith alone type perspective um, beforehand and i don't think that necessarily squared completely up with church of christ because they do talk about the way you act and um and, and what you do matters but i think just growing up and then as an adult and being around a bunch of different denominations um that kind of just seeps into your fit your faith model uh it's a come with a lack of a better term that you know it, it doesn't really matter my what i do uh, you know i'm trying to be a good person um but I, i'm for sure getting to heaven because i'm baptized i'm a believer and uh and, I, and i'm good to go but joining the catholic church and reading scripture and reading the the catechi catechism um really just draws out the this painful process and honestly it's painful that i've been going through um trying to reconcile my life and to stop sins that have been um dominating dominating me in the background um you know it's the things that got uh, the the idea that god is watching me all the time he does know and see when i'm sinning when i'm turning my back on him and it's been it's been gloriously painful uh, to fully admit and come face to face with how bad of a sinner I was and am, and trying to change my life for better and trying to uh to amend my life um and the the fact that we have that i get to go to confession whenever i need to that i have to go and ask for the forgiveness the fact that i have to verbally say the sins that i've committed that i don't want anyone to know about and i hate 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 that there's sins that i'm constantly having to confess and I'm working on them and I'm trying and I'm praying to the Holy Spirit to, to help guide me and protect me in those moments of weakness. Um, but I'm just eternally grateful for the Catholic Church and that it's just brought that f in the forefront of my life. Where before that was, that wasn't, that didn't even, it didn't even hit my radar. I was just, hey, I'm a good person. I treat people nicely. I, I'm a decent husband. I'm a good father. Um, we're good there. Like I, I'm getting to heaven. There's not more. I don't need to work too much more. And the Catholic faith challenges you on that a hundred percent. And I'm just beyond grateful for that. And so I think the, the biggest difference for me, well, actually, I don't know. I think that number three there is pretty big, but, um, the desire to be the spiritual leader of my home as a man um to not just kind of take that back seat and let my wife do things and uh let her lead 
uh, let her do the Bible studies with the kids. Um, it's forced me to lead my family because if I'm not leading my family, we, we know the statistics on that, right? Like if it's just the wife going to church or, uh, then only 35, 30 to 35% of kids stay Catholic or stay in the faith. If it's the father, it's like 85%. And I'm taking that, that spiritual leader leadership of my home very, very seriously. And it's showing fruit. And I'm so grateful that the Catholic Church has shown me the importance of my fatherly role. Um, and it, it's just... It's just great. Um, so year end, I, I just couldn't be more excited. So um, if you're thinking about converting to the Catholic Church, please do. It is so worth it. It's You get the fullness of Christ. And it's like you're drinking from a water fountain, uh, reading of these theologians, these, uh, the church fathers, re- reading through the catechism, reading the Bible. You see all of this stuff just flow out. And it's and you just realize how glorious God is and how amazing the sacrifice of the cross is. And I just couldn't recommend it more. I am so grateful every day for the Catholic Church and the way, the way God led me here, kicking and screaming uh, to be a convert. And uh, I'm just grateful. So... Anyways, year in, that's my thoughts on, uh, on how my life's changed between before I was Catholic and now. Um, and it's all for the good. Am I there? Am I finished? No, not at all. I still got a lot of work to do. And, uh, and I'm just grateful for the Catholic Church, for the Holy Spirit guiding me here and, and leading me in my faith. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you're a convert and how your life has changed. Uh, I would love to read those comments because it, to me it's been night and day. So anyways, y'all have a good one and I'll talk to you guys later.